welcome back to Buy the Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about considering subscribing to my channel? And today we're gonna be talking about Netflix's new Christmas movie, Klaus. Ha! Eat our snow, you They're not attached. Why aren't they attached? I thought they were attached. I would never in a million years have done what I just did. Now it is Klaus, not Klaus. So I didn't botch that, you guys. Because y'all know how I am with pronunciation. So Klaus, it is rated PG. It is an adventure comedy. It is an hour and 37 minutes long. Release date uh, was November the 8th on Netflix. So Netflix has come out with a new animated Christmas movie called Klaus. This is pretty much an origin story of how Santa pretty much started off. This is before the elves, before the North Pole. Uh, we end up finding out how Santa Claus was uh, prior to everything. And so the story pretty much follows Jesper who is the worst postal man that there could possibly be. His father apparently is the one that runs the whole postal service and you know wants uh, for him to be a mailman like him. See Jesper is not for that. He's like that's not his life. So the dad pretty much sends him off to Smearsenburg. I think that's how you say the town's name, which is one of the worst places that could, you could possibly be sent to. It is tasked to be out there for a year and has to mail like 6,000 letters within this year. Has to do like a successful postal service in that area. Jesper ends up finding like a little scheme to be able to get these letters, which kind of started with this one little kid. So of course it does start off with Jesper doing this to be able to get out of this hellhole town. But obviously, you know, he's there for a year. He does end up getting attached to the townspeople. The town themselves ends up changing because of the children, because of these letters, because of these toys, because of everything. And I really don't want to get too much into it. But I mean, just the whole deal that does come upon this film was really, really good, you guys. And it's just, it's a movie for everybody. It's not just for kids. It is a very predictable type of story. But... I was here for it. I enjoyed myself throughout the movie. Just so I don't give any spoilers, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Do I recommend for you guys to see Klaus? Yes, I do. And it's just on Netflix, you guys. So holidays are coming up. This is a really nice holiday movie to just kind of incorporate to what you already watch. If you just want to make it into like a Santa Claus uh, watching weekend, then go for it. Maybe even start off with this movie. We do get a different version of who he was and how he started off. So that is all that I have to say about this film. Before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at the sessions. Bye!